warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches. So, your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. What's up, everyone? Uh, by the time you got this, this intro is filmed way after the, vi the video that you're about to watch was. But uh, we're gonna do a giveaway. Um, Fish on Tackle, they're over in Indiana. They're donating $125 worth of gear. Uh, we'll, I'll show you a little video right here, right after this intro of what's all in the giveaway. I want you guys to comment done down below. And I'm gonna put a link in the description. I want you to go over to his Facebook and like his Facebook uh, group. Fish on Tackle, and you'll be entered in the giveaway. We'll probably do it uh, today's the third. It's my birthday, so I have a also. So we'll do it tomorrow in a live stream on the fourth. So I also have 25% off on my baits and lures. I'll put a link in the description for that also. Uh, promo code 42 for my birthday. Here's something I wanted to show you guys. I just got so. Gonna go to up to South Dakota. Gonna do some get into it, but ends up having a couple swivel seats. I'm gonna get LED lights and all that stuff. It's pretty, pretty awesome. I'm just getting it put together. As you can see, the tub is still showing, but it's got a sled and all that. So we are addicted to ice fishing. I got a bunch of ice fishing videos coming. I've I've actually filmed ahead of quite a bit, so I I've been dropping a lot of stuff over an uncut. I'm kind of getting behind on uh, everything. So we're still trapping Flares Ranch. I actually just got back. We just caught a coyote. We've caught quite a bit. So stay tuned for the videos. They're coming. Just be patient. I'm trying to I'm trying to manage a lot of things. And it's an hour there and back to the ranch. So make sure you guys go do that. And uh, enjoy the video. After this video, there's a pretty good catch day. Like top top 10 so one more video away and you'll see a top 10 trapping day so all right thanks for watching guys stay tuned What's up guys? Welcome back. We got right on the ranch again. We got a uh, El Stinky over here. He's a big one too. He's a real big skunk. And we don't want to get we don't want him to spray. So we're gonna lung him. So far I don't see a spray. We'll let him be for a second. Oh, it's getting strong. I think he sprayed a little. What's up, guys? We're down here at the ranch again. We got the skunk. Yeah, it looks like we got a little coon over here on this brush pile. So it is going to be in the 30s at night. So it's that time of year where you're going to pick up raccoons whether you want to or not. Two paws, just a little dude, but one less predator on the farm here. So we're over here at the desert cuts right there. Uh, seen a lot of coyote tracks here, so we can't even put a set in, but we'll take what we get. Stay tuned. All right guys, well, got some bunch of buckets here. I've been putting out a few buckets here and there. We're gonna get this guy remade.
perfect. So we are going to be freezing again, so we don't want to, we got all of our swag sand still in there, but we need to get it prepared for this upcoming rain that we got coming. <clears throat> My buddy Cody was watching and he sent me this scoop so we don't have to use the hands anymore to <laughs> Thank you, Cody, for that. So we're basically offset on this side of the hole now. Probably gonna catch raccoons again tonight. Hopefully, hopefully some of these buckets will pick them up since we're in Nebraska. I need to just get me a finer mesh sifter since I'm going to be using sand all the time. It would make more sense. Alright. It's pretty simple to remake them. If they don't tear it up too bad. We're going to put this... This is a mixture of wax sand and dirt now. Spread that all across there. Blend it all in good. bit of all predator in the hole. Uh, this one. I need to get me a better bag, I think. Design my own bag, maybe. We do have a pretty decent backing there right now, but I see this log right here. A piece of charred wood here. We're gonna bring it right here. Just like that. That's pretty uh, interesting backing. For cats, it would really stand out, so. I'm gonna get this remade. It's gonna be stinky. <clears throat> the big raccoons, there's big skunks. God dang. Everything's big. It's basically a big old hay set now with all this. <laughs> Take all this stuff and pile it up here. Find our dirt hole. You guys hear them pigs in the background? From the pig farm? Packing her down. We 
They don't want her to move when they step on the jaws or the levers. It's pretty good. Pan cover. This is definitely not going to freeze up. I'm just kind of raking all this back so it's all kind of bare here. It all looks the same. All done. That's all it is. It's a little bit of lure and a little bit of bait in there. And there's already all kinds of skunk smell here, so I didn't use the old fuck this time. All kinds of eye appeal. I got a working set over here, so we're Kind of got it covered the winds blowing this way so any dog running this way ought to get a whiff of this anything down in there ought to get a whiff too i gotta set over that way so kind of well pretty well covered a big old skunk though all right guys uh, that's going to be it for this one probably uh see what we get tomorrow and maybe put it all together so stay tuned What's up guys? I was down here in this creek looking for a place to maybe set some raccoon traps. We're kind of thawing out, but we're supposed to get a bunch of snow, so I think I'm gonna hold off, but I just happened to notice this guy. I'm like, I thought it was like half of an old hedge, ha hedge apple from the uh, Osage Orange Tree. It's not, it looks like it's got, I think it's like a geode. It's uh, obviously it needs to be whitened up, but it looks like a geode to me. It's kind of crazy. Hmm. Really did not expect to see that way in there like that. I don't know. I'm always looking for arrowheads, but I don't ever find any. So I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs>